Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be updating quite a few apps right here on your Mac. So let's just get started. On the top left hand side of your screen you're going to see the Apple logo. Let's just click right there and then your third option will say App Store. So let's just open that up. Once we open this up, you might see this message, might not. But anyways, on the left hand side, you will notice that updates should be highlighted. If so, we're going to take a look at all our updates. Right now we have Compressor, Final Cut Pro and GarageBand plus WhatsApp app. At this point in time, we're going to get started with Compressor. On the top right hand side, we can just click on update. However, let's say we don't see a particular update we're looking for, such as Final Cut Pro. Let's just go on the top left hand side corner, we're going to see search and we are going to type in Final Cut Pro. Once we look for that, we're supposed to see this. And from here, search results. Again, we should see Final Cut Pro and update or we can also even click on Final Cut Pro. And again, once this opens up, we should see Final Cut Pro and update. So we can update from here just by pressing update on the top right hand side or left hand side, depending which window you're looking at. And then we're just going to go back. And we're going to go all the way back to our updates so we can see the progress. How do we know something's happening? Well, you might notice this is moving all the way. So that's how you know the update is actually downloading and working. Now we're going to do the same thing with compressor. So we're going to go ahead and hit update on compressor. Now we can look at how big each one of these updates is by just clicking on more. And for example, this one's only around 300 megabytes. Final Cut Pro itself is 2.9 gigs, which I'm surprised it's running that fast if it's that big. And we're looking at GarageBand, which we have to press on update as well, top right hand side corner. And we're going to click on more. And this one's just a little bit less than a gig. So we're looking at almost 800 megabytes. Anyways, how fast should these updates go? Well, it does depend on your internet speed. So if you've got really slow internet speed to download three gigs, which is Final Cut Pro, which is the biggest update right now, it might take a few minutes. For some others, it could take a few hours to download three gigs. So again, it does depend. If you guys want this to run faster, just hook it up to your router using ethernet cable. Other than that, once the update's done, as you guys can see, it's gonna move out of here, available onto updated recently. And from here, we can just open up Final Cut Pro or any other application for that matter. Now, if you're trying to update any of your apps and you get this message right here where you can't update it at this point in time, don't worry, just click OK and try the update again. So we're gonna click on update. If that's not working, if it keeps glitching out for some reason, just make sure the app itself is fully closed. And how do you know if it's fully closed? Well, down here, you can see Safari, for example, has this dot underneath it. That means it's actually opened. And all these other apps don't have that dot underneath them. That means they're fully closed. So just to close an app for sure, just press Command Q. And that will quit the app itself. It's not deleting it, just quitting it. One more fix around this is signing out and into your app ID because that could also be causing a glitch for this particular update. To do that, on the top left hand corner, you're gonna see store. And from there, you can just sign out of your app ID and then sign back in in order to update anything if you're still having that glitch. And yes, of course, some glitches have to fix on the server end. So they might not be ready to be installed on your computer. So just wait or just restart your Mac. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.